you have to hope that everyone's going to take part in it and contribute yes. to it, despite the fact that a lot of people don't don't actually support the terms of reference yes. um, as as they are a uh, very narrow terms of reference. But given that we've got a very methodical judge with a very very narrow term of reference, we've got to do the best we can on that. Yes. So um, yeah. Some people have said they won't cooperate, which is a shame, but I kind of understand why. Um, I've offered myself as a core participant for what experience I've had. Um, I'm waiting to hear, and I'll give them anything they need, um, obviously. Uh, I'll cooperate fully with that. Um, I just think it's a huge shame that so much of it isn't being dealt with at all. Many of the main issues aren't being dealt with at all. So it's yes. all these narrow technical issues, which actually we've all got a very good idea about yes. uh, what the outcome's going to be. But uh, uh, but they have to prove that. That's fair enough. That's one thing. But why everything happened? We're going to find out what happened. Yes. Exactly what happened. I hope. But why it all happened is another matter. That's the big question. Yes. And that is the political, economic, and social context for why it happened. How was this allowed to happen? Yes. How was a council allowed to shovel? a third of a billion pounds into reserves which weren't even earning any interest shoveling money into that while they're pulling back on local services and not investing where it really counted yes. and helped and they said, people. what, £5,000 or something by making this? Uh, it, it may have been more than that actually right, but yeah, okay. I mean we'll find out in the end someone said £200, I'm not sure but we'll right. find out in the end, they will find out how much was saved by putting uh, that particular kind of cladding on but um, how how that was allowed to happen, why it was allowed to happen is, the big, is one of the yes. big, big questions um, and I, I, whether, are we going to find that out? I don't know so uh, there are a group of people, including uh, Justice Grenfell, who um, are talking about doing a people's inquiry. And I understand, I mean, I, I've had to look at that, obviously, yes. um, and the background to that, and um, um, the integrity of that system process, obviously. Um, but um, I perfectly understand why people want to do that, because they want to ask the why questions. Yeah. Um, We had Lacanol, you know, I was on the Fire and Emergency, London Fire and yes. Emergency Planning Authority for a year. I stepped down as soon as I became an MP. Um, and we were discussing Lacanol regularly and at what point it was going to be implemented and writing to the ministers and saying, when are we going to implement this? Yes. So, um, you know, it's, um, yeah, so there were people within the tower who were asking, not, yes. not so much on the cladding, but there were other fire safety issues they were concerned about, yes. as we know now, and um, that was also ignored. So, um, yeah, I mean, when, it, when something becomes so, so you know, such a pressing issue um, and all those questions are being asked over and over again and they're just cast aside and then you're getting people with no training at all coming in and issuing fast to say just to fix the yeah. what, kind of, what kind of world are we living in, huh? Well, that, that's that's the fear. It certainly is my fear too. We'll see what they come up with at the end. But yeah, of course, of course, I don't blame people at all for thinking it's a whitewash. I yes. can't blame it. We'll have to see what they come up with in the end. If there's, if there's going to be any other aspects at all that they're going to look at, but um, um, it does look as if they kind of predetermined what they want to get out of the other end. Yes. There are lots of uh, lots of very suspicious circumstances. Um, I'm not sure about that particular issue. I've, I've seen it and I've read the demolition notes. Yes. I don't know the background to that. It's not my ward, so it's not, not as if I was um, yes. deeply embedded in, in all of those things. But that, um, hopefully that will come out. And that, I find that very, very mysterious, very mysterious. Yes. Actually knocking down a building like that, you know, that is one solid structure. Yeah. yeah. So I find that very, very strange. Um, I hope we'll get to the truth of that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, just as for Grenfell and people are, are yes. coming to them for, uh, you know, so I, I um, that, that's for them to, that's for them to set up and yes. I'll, that I'll support it depending on, depending on what they're coming up with, they'll support it if appropriate. No, 
it's very, very difficult. Actually, there is there's lots of money there. There's money sitting in banks, sitting in the in the donation funds. Yes. There's money sitting there which may or may not be getting through. Um, so there's, there's money isn't the issue. Actually, the support shouldn't be an issue, even though that's not necessarily coming through to everybody as I'm finding out. It's actually political pressure more than anything. I think is needed at the moment. Yes. You know, in the early days, the practical help was was huge. Yes. Now we've got half of North Kensington are volunteers. So what kind of practical steps for people do? I think to, you know, lo uh, lobbying the government to really to deal with this properly. I right into the local MPs. You mean, right into the local MPs. MPs. Yeah, and the, and the senior ministers don't let anything go by when they make these announcements in Parliament. And uh, Sajid Javid or Alex Sharma will stand up and they'll come up with their list of all the people who are being helped and how wonderful everything is, or you know, a bit disappointed that more people aren't accepting their homes, a bit of all of those things. You know, that, that's the that's the tip of an iceberg of, yes. of hell, actually. That's a really, right. you know, the things I hear. Um, it's it's not what what I hear when I go out and visit people in their hotels. Yes. Um, what what is the latest with the housing situation? Because people it's were worried that they moved out. I know. Well, I don't. They will. They can't be. Uh, they can't be unless they really want to. Um, some people don't want to live there, which is their choice. Um, but um, but the places they're being offered. I've seen some of the temporary places they've been offered, and they're really, really inadequate. Right. Not even very nice. Sometimes scrappy, not you know, not refurbished. Um, and um, you know, this this myth that was um, emerged around the Kensington Row luxury housing that was just a complete it was and utter. Yeah, it was just a big buy. It was a lot. Well, you know, there were. It's part of a massive luxury estate. Yes. Social housing involved, you know, there was social housing built within the estate for social tenants. That has now been set aside for grateful people. It's not very nice, it's not family housing. There's no park there. It's 10 minutes to the uh, train station across uh, Cromwell Road, which is an eight, eight lane highway. Um, if you're taking your kids to school and you've got a baby in a, 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 a one, and you know, what a horrible place to live, actually. Yes. So people are turning it down because it's not a family neighborhood. Yes. They want a home, not a unit. That's what they're saying. Yeah. It's going to be very nice for my. My, my young son or my yes. you know, um, or for you know, professional people to live there. It's a nice place for them to live, but not for families. Yes. So people are turning them down, not because they're turning down luxury housing, yes. but because it's completely unsuitable for families. So they want a family neighbourhood, which is what they have before. Yes. Um, so um, what the holdups are is, um, I think it's pretty much incompetence. You know, just incompetence in, um, in finding what people need and um, a lack of understanding um, of um, what bad state people are in and also setting people up against each other with this bidding system is absolutely yes. disgraceful. They should not have to bid against their neighbours. So how's that work exactly? They're going through, the, it's choice based setting, they're going through choice based setting. So choice based setting has been earmarked for them now. It's just the Grenfell survivors and they're all bidding against each other. These are people, some of whom went into the tower to say the... No, well, no, no, it's about... The circumstances Yeah, it's the circumstances of whether or not it's, um, whether or not it's suitable for them. But it's a, a regular, regular council choice based setting. They're going through that process as if they were, you know, as if they hadn't been through hell. So these are people who may have been into their neighbours fights and pulled them out to save their lives. Yes. They're now bidding against each other. It's despicable. It really yes. is despicable. It should not have to go through that. People who are in bids should not have to go through that process. Yeah. I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, yeah, they're bidding. Anything, they're, so, bidding. Yeah. they're bidding against each other. And the whole process of getting the funding that they deserve is quite punitive as well. So there are people who are saying, well, why why do you know why we have to we have to go out and look for everything? Yeah. You know, it's really um well, it's like a point for, well it is they are applying for benefits. Yes. But I said, Well that should, it's your money, this is what they you know, this is your due. Yes. Why are you having to apply for it as if you're on anybody yes. else on benefits? The whole process is um, it's exhausting. People are worn down. Yes. And after three months they're losing hope. Yes. Which is very bad for their physical and mental health. Yeah, no, Stuff in hotels. Awful, it's really bad. It's very, very bad out there. Yeah. So don't, don't believe what um, the government tells you. It's not getting better actually. Yes. Not in my not from what I see.